Okay, so we're going to do the integration of e to the negative 4x cosine 6x. And I'm going to show you a shortcut we call the Ryan Tyler shortcut. Okay, And it's very much like the tic-tac-toe from the Stand and Deliver movie. So to start with, we start with our table. And we're going to put derivative and integral. So it's not going to matter which I choose as my derivative. So I'm going to make e to the negative 4x the derivative. And cosine 6x is what I'm going to integrate. So working on the derivative, I get the derivative of e to the negative 4x is negative 4 e to the negative 4x. The antiderivative of cosine 6x is 1 6 sine then I go the next step. The derivative of negative 4 e to the negative 4x is negative 4 e to the negative 4x times a neg another negative 4, which is 16 e to the negative 4x. And now the antiderivative of 1 6 sine 6x is a 6 of negative cosine. So it's going to be negative 136 cosine 6x. Now, we're not going to zero out on either side, but because I started with a cosine 6x and I have a cosine 6x here, I'm going to stop at the moment. And then I put plus, minus, and I go one step down, plus. So now I'm going to write the integral of e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx equals, I cross multiply these and I get e to the negative 4x sine 6x over 6. So now I'm going to cross here and I've got minus a minus a minus. So it's minus 436 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x. e to the negative 4x cosine 6x over 36. Now I'm going to have plus this integral. I can't zero all the way out, so I'm going to have that integral. So that's going to be plus negative 136 cosine 6x times 16. So it's going to be plus the integral of negative 1636 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx. So the key here was we're going to be plus this is the integral. This is the last integral that we're going to have to do, the simplified integral right here. Okay, so now I'm back to an e to the negative 4x cosine 6x. So I can now add to both sides. I had a negative 1636. I'm going to add 1636 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx. And I add that to the other side, 1636 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx. So now that gives me, I've got 3636 plus 1636 of that integral. So I have 5236 of the integral e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx equals and I have e to the negative 4x sine 6x over 6 minus 4 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x over 36. So now to get the answer I want, I'm going to multiply both sides by 36 over 52. Okay, so that gives me the integral I want, 
which is the integral e to the negative 4x cosine 6x dx. And it equals 6 goes into 36 six times. So I have 6 e to the negative 4x sine 6x minus 36 cancels here. So I have minus 4 e to the negative 4x cosine 6x. And it's all over 52 plus a constant. So I can reduce this. And